Have you ever felt as if you're fighting an unseen battle? A battle within your mind, a battle with anxiety? In the hustle and bustle of our lives, anxiety has become an unwelcome guest, an invisible foe that we often struggle to defeat. It lurks in the shadows, whispering fears into our ears, casting doubts and clouding our minds with worry. It is this unseen battle that drains us, leaves us feeling defeated, and holds us back from reaching our full potential. Anxiety is not a rarity. It's a common thread that weaves itself into the fabric of human life. It's a struggle faced by millions, a silent epidemic that sweeps across society, leaving a trail of restless minds in its wake. It's the sleepless nights and the racing thoughts, the constant worry and the nagging doubt. It's a battle fought in the depths of our minds, invisible to the naked eye, but all too real to those who are in its grips. It's easy to feel alone in this struggle, to believe that you are the only one fighting this battle. But the reality is far from it. Everyone at some point grapples with anxiety. It's a universal experience, a shared struggle, a common enemy, and it's an enemy that can be defeated. But how do we fight a battle that's unseen? How do we combat an enemy that's invisible? The answer, my friends, is simpler than you might think. In our quest to conquer anxiety, we often overlook one of the most powerful weapons at our disposal. It's not a pill or a therapy session or a self-help book. It's a weapon that's been with us since the dawn of humanity, a tool that's as old as time itself. This weapon is prayer. Prayer, in its simplest form, is a conversation with the divine. It's a moment of solitude, a time to reflect, to seek guidance, and to find peace. It's a beacon of light in the darkest corners of our minds, a source of strength in our weakest moments. But what if there's a weapon we've overlooked, a weapon as ancient as humanity itself? Prayer. Prayer, an age-old practice, often misunderstood, often undervalued. Could it be the key to vanquishing anxiety? In every corner of the globe, across myriad cultures and religions, prayer takes on a multitude of forms. Some close their eyes and whisper in solitude, others gather in groups and chant in unison. Some find solace in the silence of a forest, others seek communion in a bustling temple. Despite these differences, at its core, prayer is a conversation, a dialogue between an individual and a higher power, the universe, or their inner self. But why, one might wonder, would a conversation, even a spiritual one, hold any sway over the gnawing beast of anxiety? Let's take a closer look. Scientific studies have begun to unravel the mysterious power of prayer. Researchers have found that prayer can trigger the relaxation response, a state of deep rest that alters the physical and emotional responses to stress. This response can decrease heart rate, lower blood pressure, and slow breathing, creating a sense of calm and well-being. But it's not just about biology and brain chemistry. It's about the human spirit, that indomitable force within each of us. Personal accounts abound of people who, through prayer, have found the strength to face their fears, to conquer their anxieties. Take, for instance, the story of a woman who, plagued by anxiety, turned to prayer. She would start each day with a simple prayer, a plea for peace and strength. Over time, she noticed a change. The anxiety didn't disappear, but it became manageable. She found the courage to face her fears, to navigate through the storm, and she attributed this transformation to her daily dialogue with the divine. Prayer, it seems, is more than just a spiritual practice. It's a tool, a weapon, to battle the unseen enemy within us. It's a lifeline, a beacon of hope in the darkness of anxiety. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a testament to the power of faith. So whether you're a devout believer or a skeptical agnostic, consider this a moment of prayer, a moment of quiet introspection could be the key to overcoming anxiety. After all, what do we have to lose? Prayer, it seems, is more than just a spiritual practice. It's a tool, a weapon to battle the unseen enemy within us. Let me take you on a journey, a personal journey of a friend who found solace in prayer during a time of crippling anxiety. Imagine, if you will, a man. A man who had it all, a loving family, a successful career, a comfortable home. Yet, despite the apparent perfection of his life, he was plagued by a relentless foe, anxiety. It was a constant, unyielding presence, a dark cloud that threatened to overshadow every moment of joy, every instance of happiness. He was like a ship in a storm, 
tossed and turned by the tumultuous waves of worry. His heart raced, his palms sweated, his mind spun with a thousand and one fears. The world, once a place of boundless opportunity, now seemed a treacherous labyrinth fraught with hidden dangers and insurmountable obstacles. But amidst this tempest, he found an anchor, an anchor of faith, of hope, of solace. He found the power of prayer. Prayer wasn't a magic cure, a quick fix that instantaneously made everything better. No, it was a journey. A journey of faith, of self-discovery, of healing. It was a conversation, a dialogue with the divine, a chance to unload his fears, his worries, his anxieties, and in return, receive peace, receive comfort, receive strength. He started praying, not out of desperation, but out of a genuine desire to connect with something greater than himself. He found comfort in the words of Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And so he did. He presented his fears, his anxieties, his worries to God. He laid them bare, held nothing back. He poured out his heart, his soul, his very essence. And in return, he found peace, a peace that surpassed all understanding, a peace that calmed the storm within his heart. He didn't just pray for relief from anxiety. He prayed for strength, for courage, for wisdom. He prayed for the ability to face his fears, to overcome his anxieties, to conquer the challenges that life threw his way. And as he prayed, he changed. He was no longer the man tossed and turned by the storm of anxiety. He was now the man who stood firm, who stood strong, who stood victorious. He was a man transformed, not by his own strength, but by the power of prayer. Prayer became his refuge, his sanctuary, his place of solace. It was his lifeline in the storm, his beacon in the darkness, his compass in the labyrinth. It was his source of strength, his source of hope, his source of peace. And so, in the quiet solitude of prayer, my friend found strength, found peace, found victory over anxiety. Now, having seen the power of prayer, the question remains, how do we embrace this power in our own lives? Well, let's get into that. The first step towards embracing the power of prayer is to make it a daily habit. Just like brushing your teeth or having your morning coffee, prayer should be an integral part of your day. It doesn't have to be long or complicated. It could be a simple conversation with your higher power, expressing gratitude, asking for guidance, or simply seeking peace in the midst of chaos. Next, let's talk about how to use prayer as a tool to combat anxiety. When feeling overwhelmed, instead of letting anxiety consume you, take a moment to pause and pray. It's like pressing the reset button. In prayer, you surrender your worries to a power greater than yourself, thereby creating a sense of calmness and tranquility. Now here's an important point to remember. Prayer is not about asking for a life free of problems. It's about asking for the strength to face them. It's about acknowledging that we are not alone in our struggles and that there is a higher power guiding us through life storms. So, how do you start incorporating prayer into your daily life? It's simple. Find a quiet place, take a deep breath, and talk to your higher power. Share your fears, your dreams, your joys, your sorrows. There's no right or wrong way to pray. The most important thing is to be sincere and open. And here's the exciting part. As you start to make prayer a regular part of your life, you'll begin to notice its transformative power. You'll start to see things from a different perspective. You'll find strength you didn't know you had. You'll experience peace in the midst of chaos. So are you ready to embrace the power of prayer? Remember, it's a journey. And like any journey, it requires patience, persistence, and faith. Remember, every journey starts with a single step. Your first step could be a simple prayer. In the end, the battle with anxiety is a personal one, but it's a battle you don't have to fight alone. Remember, the power of prayer can be your strongest ally, a force to lean on when the weight of worry threatens to pull you under. It's not merely a plea for refuge, but a testament to your strength, resilience, and unyielding spirit. Imagine prayer as a beacon, its light piercing through the dense fog of anxiety, illuminating your path forward. It's a declaration of your indomitable spirit, a statement that you're not merely surviving, but thriving in the face of adversity. It's testament to your resilience, a tangible proof of your strength. Let it be a reminder that you're not alone in this fight. There's a power greater than all of us. Always ready to lend a hand, to lend a heart, to lend an ear. Prayer, it seems, 
is not just a call for help. It's a declaration of strength, a testament to resilience, and a beacon of hope in the fight against anxiety. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share to your and subscribe. Thank you for watching.